As requested, I'm going to show you how you can turn the second row seat backwards in the Nissan Envy. I have a 2015 3500 SL passenger van, but I would expect this would work in uh, all the vans 12 through 15. Right now I have the two pot of seats in the second row in the forward position, though I've already unclicked the back so I can be ready to turn it around. Uh, one thing I want to note is note how the legs are not centered under the seat. So the close leg is right at the edge of the seat. There's another leg right in the middle and then the seat overhangs on the left side. When you turn the seat around, that overhang will overhang where the single seat would go in the second row, which is why I have the cover plates in. I'll just have two seats in the second row. Here's a close-up of the seat mounts uh, on the far right side of the van, right behind the driver's seat. The reason a lot of people think it's impossible to turn the seats around is because of the width of the mount points for the front and the back. They are clearly thinner, but they are not too thin. Also notice the two mount points. This is for the forward position. This is for the extended legroom position. One thing you will note is you cannot turn around the seat in the forward position without modifying, you know, perhaps cutting this hole a little bit bigger with a, you know, a disc grinder or something. I may do that, but I'm not going to show that today. You can turn this, turn the seat around into the more rear position, the extended legroom position to face the back. Uh, and then you could, of course, put the third row further back in the extended legroom position as well. We don't do that currently, which when the seat is turned around, there's only about 10 inches between the seats. It is kind of tight. Here you see the only tool I'm going to use today. And you can also see that my front forks are a little bit scratched up. So I showed you the seat mount points were pretty skinny in the back. Mine actually fit in without modification. I am going to use the clamp uh, just to show you how I made it a little bit easier so I didn't have to force it so hard um, and it slides in real easily. Um, it, you may need to do a little bit more modification uh, depending on how thick your welds are on your rear mount points. But like I said, without modification, I could turn mine around uh, and force it in a little bit hard. You can see it kind of scratch some of the paint off. What we're going to do is basically take the clamp and just squeeze these metal forks together ever so slightly. I only did it for 30 seconds, maybe only brought these about a sixteenth of an inch closer together. Uh, just to make it easier to go in and out. Here you can see I've squeezed the the forks in just a little bit, maybe an eighth of an inch. You can see it's squeezing this rubber uh, landing pad a little bit. But when I remove the clamp, these will spread out again. And I will have only moved in these, these two forks uh, just about a sixteenth of an inch. Now I'm going to put the seat into the rear clips. You'll see that it... They do slide down in. It just barely fits down in. And again, you have to put it in the rear position. The seat is, of course, heavy and a little bit unwieldy. But I slide the seat forward all the way. And with the seat in the rear position, you can clearly see the overhang. Now we actually keep a uh, little tub there under the under the overhang. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is when you have three seats in the back and the two turned around, they do offset each other. So even though there's only about, oh, I don't know, 10 to 12 inches between the seats, uh, everyone's legs are offset from themselves. So you don't have quite a lot of knee bumping. Of course, I have small kids. You can see several car seats here. They don't have their feet overhanging the seat very much anyway. But that's how you can turn the seat around in a Nissan Envy. One last quick note. Uh, I did move both of the driver and passenger front seats uh, extra far forward just while I was behind the seat manipulating it around. I will move them back, but uh, 
in this rear position even you have to have the seats forward a little bit also it does create a nice little storage place behind this second row we keep a nice tub in there allows us to throw some bags and things in there it's pretty convenient